Hi, my name is Khalid Ahmed Khan and today I'll be talking to you about custom codes in Microsoft Project. So this is a feature that can be used for a variety of purposes. For instance, you can organize your data better. You can uh, perform some calculations using these codes and also you can use them for analytics uh, and the these codes work with um, most versions of microsoft project so if you turn onwards okay so let's see how we can use cost codes uh, i'm going to open an existing project and so here's the project and this project basically has been organized uh, in the traditional way which is basically using indents to uh, create uh, summary activities. In this case, you can see that the uh, project is being deployed in multiple cities and for each city, you have just three activities. So that's like the typical way that you would organize a project. But the limitation in this is that what if I wanted to look at a specific category of activities i want to see all the preparation activities together all the transport ones together um, you can't actually we, we could use filters but it's not uh, it's not that you can organize in a particular way the other thing that i would probably want to do is to what if i wanted to organize uh, these uh, cities into zones so maybe i have a northern zone and a southern zone how would i do something like this um, that gets difficult so we're going to use um, activity custom codes uh, for this and uh, another use case for this would be if you notice in Microsoft project you have these task IDs which are basically you know one starting from one and going all the way to 31 um, if you're giving somebody this task ID for instance asking them to work on activity 11 it's not very meaningful uh, so what we can do is we can also use a custom code to create more meaningful uh, IDs for the for these activities. So we'll look at that also. So to, to uh, start the process, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of all the indentation, create the custom codes, and then see how this works. Okay, so I've uh, removed all the indentation, so everything is now under a uh, single summary bar, which is the project uh, summary bar. Okay. Um, let's go and create a custom codes. So for custom codes, uh, click on format and then custom fields. And you have various type of custom fields that you can create. So for task, resource, um, and project. And in this case, um, if I'm creating code specifically for the task, um, I have multiple options which means it can be what type of custom code you want to create. So cost, date, duration, etc. Uh, in this case, I want to actually create the first one is just activity ID. So I'll just uh, rename this and I'll just call this activity ID. And that's it. And there's no specific lookup value for this. This can have any uh, value that I assign to it. Uh, the next one that I want to create is something that would be uh, based on the type of work that's being done. So I'll just call this, I'll rename this, and then I'll say type of work. And in this case, I want to actually create a lookup table. So I want to restrict what values can go in. So let's create that lookup table. management for the remaining activities so that's my second thing uh, so now this allows me to organize my uh, tasks by the type of work and I want one more which just will help me organize by zones and then within zones it cannot uh, I can have cities so for that I actually have two levels I can either set them up separately so maybe have a zone activity so it's perfectly okay for me to do something like this say zone and then have these two lookup values which is 
N for north node and S for south node. Okay, so I can have, and then I can put in for cities and in this case have the city. Okay, so that's done. Um, that's one way of uh, uh, labeling each task. Uh, there is another way of doing it. Um, which is if you already have a hierarchy in mind so you can actually uh, create a outline code instead of just uh, a simple code and I'll tell you how that is different so let's go here and say outline code and I'll say this as um, city. so in this code for the lookup table, before I set up the lookup table, so this is a hierarchical code, so I need uh, two codes in this. So I'll set up an edit mask, and the first one maybe is uh, I'll put a single character and followed by let's say three characters. Okay, so that's the mask that I'm using. So any and I'll show you what that means. So if I say this is north zone, and then within the north zone, I want for horror. Okay, so the red basically is telling me that these uh, this length is not correct. Uh, I, I said that length should only be one for the first part of the chord. So to fix that, basically, this is how I fix it. So now it's okay. I have a length of three for the cities and one for the zones. So here again. And the advantage here is that uh, you don't have somebody doesn't need to have a guess of which cities in which zone you know, this code automatically tells them what it is so let's go and push this up and now let's come and assign these codes so the first one is the id the second one that we created was for the type of work and the third one that we created was zone and then we had city and then we had an outline code for zone and city. Okay, so how do we use this? Um, for the activity ID, it's pretty straightforward. You just need to type in anything. So you just say, if I was A100, okay, and A. so you just keep going and type in any course that you want and that will give you a specific uh, way of uh, identifying this uh, activity. For the type of work, um, just do a, I'll use a drop down, uh, so this is a prep activity, I'll put in prep, transport, okay and then again for the zone, uh, I can select the zone, and so I know this is And so finally for cities, I actually set that up. And uh, so I'm going to do the same thing here, except that you see that when I'm doing the zone, this is already organized within the correct zone. So if I select the code, I'm, I know I'm in the right zone. So, so let's get this done. Okay, so everything's set up now. So I've uh, assigned all the codes for type of work, for zone, for city, and so on and city. Um, and I view, and then let's say I want to organize by so clear anything that's done already, and then say I want to organize new group by, and I want to group this by 
of Dibork. So let's click on Dibork, which was here, and then the color that you want. Let's see what it is. There you go. So we have everything now organized by type of work so installation project management preparation and transport um, I can go back and to another organization and say instead of this I want this to be organized by city so let's do that and select the city code apply there you go so now it's organized by city also, uh, since okay, let's, let's try uh, to do a multi level uh, grouping. So, let's say more group, and this time create a new one, which is V and C. So, zone and city. So, I'll say group by first, let's put, okay, put the zone there, and then let's put the City and go save and apply. Now it's zone and city, so that organization is there. And remember, we also created an outline code. So the difference here is like when you're using two codes, you could make a mistake, and you know if you if somebody's not sure if this city is supposed to be in south or north, you could actually make a mistake up having some activities so here I just updated and then you can see Peshawar is going to the wrong place but if I had this if you, this code is more reliable so I'm going to use this code so the outline code so say you say zone city and in this case I'm going to use the outline code use the outline code and then click here and select and apply and there you go so it's automatically the right place another advantage of something like this would be if I went and okay so if I go to the outline code again and go to the lookup table I can move this up so for Multan in the north zone close Come back. and you see that's it's automatically gone in, into the proper location so it makes it easier so these hierarchical outline codes make make it easier to organize something that's multi-level okay so uh, now let's look at how we can use uh, field custom fields and uh, resources so let's go to resources and uh, format and I want to actually create a resource code uh, which helps me calculate the cost after tax so let's do so let's click on resource click on cost the type of field I need and click on formula so the formula will be cost multiplied by 15% or 20% 1.2 okay so that's done now I, I need to just go and click on the resource sheet Okay, so that's my um, if I look at if I add a cost field over here I can see this is the original cost for this resource and this is with tax cost of the resource which 20 with 20 percent so that's basically so you and you can use the same uh, codes in the resource side to organize your resources also uh, same thing that we just looked at on the uh, task side so that's basically it.